We're on a fast flight No second too late More than a gap by Life legends Life legends Master the sea Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Today we are starting our day with a hike to a beautiful waterfall. It's very powerful and it's called Ragged Falls. It's located in the Algonquin Highlands and more specifically in Oxtong Provincial Park. You can so, already hear the rapids. Yeah, it's not too long of a hike, but you can explore all around it. So we're gonna explore the top first and see how powerful this waterfall is. The river is running from up here and it just seems so calm but then it's rapids flowing down pouring over like a waterfall it's so beautiful and we've gotten tons of rain lately probably explains the massive amount of water coming through here right now It looks like other people had a better method of getting here. Take a look at these people. Kayak, kayak, canoe. We have visited a lot of waterfalls in Ontario and I have to say this is one of my favorites. And it actually does rank top 10 in all of Ontario's waterfalls. I just love it because it's so powerful and there's like little swimming holes where you can swim as well as like the big open lake and also you can get here not just by foot you just go along the back road map canoe trails it's a pretty cool place you come to join me hi Almost forgot our bikinis. <laughs> May need those before we go, eh? That would have sucked. <laughs> that was the perfect little hike. We definitely did a little extra exploring, a little off trail adventuring. But it was so beautiful, worth it. If you're in the area, this is the place to be. So we're leaving this parking lot because we want to go find somewhere nice to have lunch where we can open the doors and the girls can kind of roam around. Not a parking lot. <laughs> yeah, not a parking lot. Come on girls! 60 seconds down the road from Oxtung. Here we are on the Oxtung River. We found a little picnic spot for us to open the doors, let the girls roam while we make lunch. Crystal's already picking the wildflowers. I'm gonna add this to the bouquet in the van. Good idea. It's pretty. So where we are here, there's actually picnic benches, garbage cans, 
bear proof garbage cans <laughs> very important key feature and all of these little rest stop areas are all across Canada so if you're ever traveling through Canada there are tons of rest areas to catch some Z's or to simply make some lunch and the best part about this one is right under the bridge there's a river and a little sandy beach area where you can go swimming it's a beautiful rest stop cooking up a storm CC we're having a salad with a Beyond Meat sausage because Crystal treated us when she went to the grocery store yesterday. <laughs> it's not very often we have Beyond Meat sausages in this house. Oh, I can't wait. And they're gonna last one day. Hello. <laughs> Enjoy the sun. Wow. What do you think, Bella? Are they paddling in the river? Go for a paddle, Bella. There's more traffic in this area on the water than there is on the roads. Fuji, look out! Look out, Fuji! Look out! Excuse me! Excuse me! Excuse me! How's the salad? Mm. Ten stars, Boogie. We're definitely gonna have to make a Everywhere Izzy Sleeps addition to our vlogs because all Izzy does is sleep. She finds the, the best spot to lay her head and she's napping all day. So I'm gonna show you where she is right now. <laughs> Nothing more beautiful than Ontario's cottage country. Driving through Muskoka and driving these back roads is so beautiful. We're actually seeing that the clouds are clearing and a clear sky is appearing. So that's good news for what we have planned for tonight. We're a little over an hour away from Torrance Barrens. And Torrance Barrens, I say it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's Barrens, yeah, because it's like barren land. It is going to be a packed night. Welcome to Torrance Barrens Dark Sky Preserve. This area is very unique as there are only 19 in Canada and less than 100 in the entire world. You can come to Torrance Barrens to see the Milky Way. We can't wait to see the stars tonight and hopefully we'll be able to show you because the sky is looking really clear. The reason the stars are so spectacular here is because this whole area is so far from the city, there is zero light pollution. Well, close to zero. And the entire area outside of the preserve is actually crown land and completely undeveloped. You must know what crown land is if you've been keeping up with us because <laughs> we have been venturing the crown lands for many weeks now. Years. And if you, <laughs> if you have- well, weeks on the tomb. Yeah. But if you have been keeping up with us- Watch that one. Yep. We are so excited to see what the sky looks like, but honestly, it's not even just the sky here. Like the entire landscape is actually beautiful here. Like it's, I don't even know how to describe it. Barren. Well, of course barren, <laughs> but there's a lot of vegetation too. A lot of things are thriving. There is a lot of vegetation. There is a lot of garbage, unfortunately. So make sure if you do come here, you pick up and you left it better than you found it. Right. Let's go find a spot where there's no people. And that's legal to have the van, our house, because I'm hungry, and 
A beautiful view of this. You ready to go Mission Impossible? Ready. Let's bring out those back Did you maps. Say Mission Impossible? Or Mission Impossible. Oh, Mission Possible. Mission Possible. We actually cleared out of the preserve pretty quickly because it was starting to get very busy. And tons of families, but as well as lots of partying and tons of noise. And we figured if we adventured just outside of the preserve and found somewhere on Crown Land that we could post up and hang out and watch the stars for the night, that we would enjoy it a little bit more. Just going to say hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> yes, we're feeling much happier out here. Yeah. You all know we like to be alone in the wilderness. Yeah. You can see lots of stars. Yeah, I think this is a good spot. And we'll have some dinner. Am I making dinner? Or are you making dinner? I made lunch. Or can you make dinner? I mean, my lunch wasn't too extravagant. I'll make... I cut up lettuce. <laughs> I'll make dinner for sure. <laughs> Girls aren't getting along right now. They're playing. No, Bella wants to play. Izzy does not want to play anymore. Izzy wants to snooze. And by the time I'm done dinner... Well, but it'll probably be time to see the stars. Big day for you, eh, Izzy? What a relaxing night I'm having right now. Because there's a change of person in the kitchen, finally. What? Just kidding. So I'm just sitting here waiting for some dinner. Hanging out with my new friends, mosquitoes. Take a look at all of them. Crystal should be the chef every night. You have outdone yourselves. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. What even is it? <laughs> <sighs> it's a Cuban inspired bowl and the part that's, I guess, Cuban inspired would be the beans, the rice and the plantain. And then we have avo, some kale, lime, hot sauce. See you at the stars. Look at this. We got a satellite. So cool. Kind of hard to see, but. We'll show you right now. Welcome to the star show. <laughs> <laughs> We're definitely going a little loopy out here. <laughs> However, we managed to snag quite a few photos of the stars. It's been a spectacular night. It's worth it to stay up. It is worth it. And we've seen, well, Jasmine saw her first satellite. Amazing! And I even captured it on camera because I was adjusting my settings. And then, bam! There is a satellite. <laughs> and the Milky Way. Yeah. Billions of stars and actually a comet. Yeah. With the best part, we saw Neo Wise. Unreal. Yeah. And we have our minus 10 sleeping bags. Our two big dogs. So I think we're going to be toasty warm, spending the night under the stars. Absolutely. I can't wait to stargaze all night. Me too. We hope you enjoy the photos that we took. We're definitely not pros. But we're learning. And it was fun. Exactly. <laughs> and make sure you give this video a pause up. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll never miss a beat as it makes a huge difference as well to our channel. Yeah, and we'll see you next week for another adventure. Ciao. Ciao. Good morning. Good morning. Oh. Ow. Oh, it's on. In, in Ontario, that's a lie, because Ottawa River is way stronger. What should I say? Oxtung. Ox tongue!